choose the humble and raise them high. You choose the weak and make them strong. You heal our brokenness inside and give us life. The same love that sets the captives free. to take just about any setting, circumstance, situation, and use it to teach. He could look at about any scenario and find something good that could be expressed to those who were listening. And when he went to an upper room with his disciples, he used that experience to teach not only them, but to teach us. And I love the fact that when Jesus gathered that night, he was not sitting in a room filled with people who got it. There was a group of people that were still confused about who he was and what he was all about, but he did not say, okay, you four, you're out of here. No, he allowed all of them to participate. And later, he would get down on his knees and wash the feet 
of these folks, confused as they were, to demonstrate sacrificial love. And from that upper room, he would go to a garden. And it was there he would be arrested, and it was there he would find himself on a cross. One of the most powerful expressions of God's love for humanity. Again and again, Jesus teaches us. And my prayer this day, that as you come to the table, as you receive bread and cup, that you will allow that moment to be a teaching moment. For you have been invited. You are welcome to come and to participate. For it is God's love that is extended to all of us. And as we say every Sunday, this is not our table. This does not belong to Cypress Creek. It is the Lord's table. And it is his invitation offered in love and grace that brings us together. Let us now prepare for our time at the table. Jesus sits at the table Breaking the bread with his friends What he is able before his life on earth ends. Do this in remembrance of me. Do this in remembrance of me. Each week at Cypress Creek Christian Church, we take a moment to um, come forward, take the bread, dip it in the cup, and partake. At that same time as you come forward, please bring your blue cards and your offerings and place those in the trays provided. And if you cannot come forward, please raise your hand and someone will bring those elements to you. Let us pray. God, light of the world, we gather in this holy place to praise you. We thank you for all you have created, especially for your son, Jesus, who died for our sins so that we can have eternal life. Jesus, our mentor, showed us how to love one another. Open our hearts to your gift of love. Help us to put love first in all things. The good news is clear, Jesus was resurrected and has freed us from the burden of death. Help all people around the world who believe in Jesus Christ to remember to always, always put love first. Fountain of youth and, uh, excuse me, fountain of light and truth, bless this bread and wine we are about to receive. Fill us with your Holy Spirit. Bless the offerings that we bring today. Be with us as we pray the prayer your son taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory. On the night Jesus was betrayed, he gathered with his disciples. And at a time of his choosing, he took bread, blessed it, and broke it. And said, this is my body broken for you. Eat of this in remembrance of me. In a like manner, he took the cup, saying, this is the blood of the new covenant, which is shed for all sins. Drink of this cup as often as you eat of my body, and do so until I come again. Now let all of us come forward and partake. i
forgiven because you were forsaken I'm accepted you were condemned I'm alive and well the spirit is within me I put out notes every week about the sermon, and a part of the notes for this week that the elders and the staff saw, I said, it's, it's just going to be a basic sermon about God's love. And I didn't want that to sound just kind of ho-hum, because I think this is a message we need just to hear over and over again, because there's lots of folks out there that are trying to redefine love in ways that we not only hear about, but some ways can dramatically affect us personally. And we need to hear this alternative message, the message of Jesus Christ, who shares an unconditional love, a love that can change a person's heart, a love that is powerful. And my prayer this day is that that gift of love has spoken to your heart, and that in some way it has prepared you for the week that lies ahead. Because there will be places and situations that you will find yourself where someone will offer some rather shallow understanding of love, shall I say. And you need to be able to, in your own heart, be reminded of a God who in Jesus Christ has said, I love you, I love all of humanity, I love all of creation unconditionally. Here at Cypress Creek Christian Church, each Sunday we extend an invitation. It is an invitation 
into, yes, this covenant community, but most importantly, it is an invitation into a life with Christ. If you desire to respond this day to that invitation, you can either come forward as we are singing, or you can meet with one of our elders, one of the pastors out in the lobby at the close of the service. I invite you now, if you're able to please stand. Let us all join our voices. some things in the life of our congregation, things that are happening in the coming weeks. Uh, First of all, the elders in the life of the church are gathering together for a picnic out at Kramer Retreat Center at 2 o'clock today. I want to remind all the elders to come out and be a part of that time, just a good time of fellowship. Also, the youth groups will be meeting tonight at 5.30, and at the very same time, the youth ministry team will be meeting to do some planning for the future. I want to lift up that our study, The Shadow of a Doubt, uh, a new session will begin this Tuesday that Paula is going to be leading at 7 p.m. 
I started my first session last Wednesday, and we'll continue that for the next four Wednesdays at noon or 6.30 p.m. I invite you to come and be a part of it. And even if you missed, if Wednesday's the best day and you missed the first session, that's okay. Come and be a part of it. It's a great conversation. Also want to lift up a week from today at 2 o'clock in the afternoon, we're doing something called Faith, Food, and Fun. It's getting together with folks from the Houston Islamic Society. They reached out to us because they heard that Cypress Creek Christian Church was a community where people love. And they want to come and hear about our church and our community and hoping to share a conversation. They're bringing the food. And so we invite you to come and be a part of that time. And I also want to lift up that if you're interested in Prime Timers, that wonderful group that meets once a month for lunch, uh, there'll be an opportunity to sign up today for that. Uh, they're having the director of the Cypress Creek Green Belt Project um, here to talk about. And there's some wonderful things that are happening right here in our own backyard, uh, new bike paths and all kinds of things. So I hope you'll come and be a part of that conversation. Now I invite you to reach out. Take the hand of somebody close and cast your eyes to the screen where you will see the prayer we've been sharing throughout the year. Gracious God, may your love and our lives come together in a life lived in love. May Jesus be our mentor and our model, and may the world see in us a life that is willing to put love first in all things. Amen. And love will Hold us together, make us a shelter, weather the storm.